The suspect wanted for a fatal shooting during last Saturday's protests is now dead. Federal officers shot and killed Michael Rinell near Olympia, Washington, while trying to take him into custody. This now puts an end to the search that's been going on since Saturday. That's when a pro-Trump truck parade drove through Portland. Around 8.45 that night, there was a confrontation in the victim. Aaron J. Danielson was shot and killed in downtown Portland. Last night, federal law officers located the suspect, Michael Rinell, in Lacey, Washington. Officers say they tried to arrest him peacefully, but when he pulled out a handgun, they shot and killed Rinell. At 4 o'clock, I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Dan Tilkin. The streets are safer without a violent agitator. Those are the words from Attorney General William Barr today after Rinell was shot and killed by the U.S. Marshals Service's uh, Pacific Northwest Violent Offender Task Force as they moved in to arrest him. Our Jenny Young spoke with a man who knew Rinell. And Jenny, what can you tell us about that conversation? Jeff, Dan, you know, there was a lot, there were a lot of witnesses who saw this, but law enforcement never released information about a suspect. There was so much speculation that it was right now all week long, but it was not confirmed that he was the suspect until it was confirmed that he was dead. Lots of lawyers suggest that I shouldn't even be saying anything. That's accused killer Michael Rinell in an interview with Vice News. He was shot and killed by law enforcement Thursday night, just hours before the interview was set to air. You can't yeah. shoot somebody in the chest and run off. And then and then you get on that thing I saw on Facebook, uh, the video with Vice, and, and he's talking like it, like he was hunting. And uh, we're not animals. Craig Gilbert was acquainted with Rynell. He runs Gilbert's Tire Pros in Gresham, where he says Rynell was a customer for more than a decade. Gilbert says he was shocked when he saw the Vice News interview making its rounds on social media, where Rynell admits to shooting and killing 39-year-old Aaron J. Danielson last Saturday during a pro-Trump caravan that was met by counter-protesters in downtown Portland. This video from a Twitter user shows Rynell among those counter-protesters. Take a look as we slow the clip down and zoom in. Everybody's got a right to do what they want to do if it's peaceful. Unfortunately, it hasn't been peaceful, but you can't walk up because somebody's got a, a Patriot prayer hat or a Trump hat or whatever and shoot him in the chest. It's wrong and it's got to stop. The U.S. Attorney General's office released a statement Friday saying local authorities had an arrest warrant for the suspect who had fled Portland. He was tracked to Lacey, Washington by a fugitive task force led by U.S. Marshals and the FBI. It also included local and state law enforcement. The AG's office says Rynell tried escaping. He was shot dead by officers when he allegedly pulled a gun on them. I'm heartbroken for the family. I have sympathy for the family. I don't have sympathy for him. Okay, so Portland police still not releasing any information about this. The FBI of Portland uh, has not released a statement. Within the last few minutes, we did get a statement from the Multnomah County DA. We'll have more from that uh, statement coming up at 5. And Mr. Gilbert, that man we spoke to, he said that he knew Rynell to be armed. What he said about that coming up at 5 o'clock. Reporting live, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News.